Imagine your phone rings and smart AI receptionist answers it. Collect market detail from the caller, check if they qualify and send you a summary, all without you lifting a finger. Sounds futuristic. Well, we are building that today using Retail AI, Cal.com and N8N. Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you step by step how to build an AI powered mortgage assistant using Retail AI for voice and cal.com plus n8 and front backend automation this assistant can handle live phone calls ask smart questions about the caller mortgage needs analyze if the caller qualifies and send you an email plus log the lead automatically you don't need any encoding experience just follow along and let's jump in let me show you a quick demo first and then we will move forward You've reached George Mackers Mortgage Services. I'm the virtual assistant here to help you with any mortgage-related questions or get you connected with George's team. Are you calling to ask a question or to get help with a mortgage? Uh, yes, I have a few questions before moving on forward. Um, could you please tell me where are you guys located? Absolutely happy to help. George and his team are based in Montreal, and they also serve clients in the West Island, Laval, and the South Shore. Is there anything specific you'd like to know about mortgages or how the process works? Uh, yeah, could you please tell me about the, uh, how much down payment you have to put? Yeah, for sure. So um, the minimum down payment depends on the price of the home you're looking at. For homes up to $500,000, you need at least 5% down. If the price is between $500,000 and $999,999, it's 5% on the first $500,000 and 10% on the rest. For homes over $1 million, you'll need at least 20% down. If you want, I can help figure out the exact amount for your situation. Are you looking at a specific price range? Uh, not really, actually. No problem. If you have any other questions about mortgages or the process, just let me know. I'm here to help. Or if you'd like, I can collect a few details and have George's team prepare some options for you. Perfect. Would you like to get started with that? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Let's get started. Can I have your full name, please? Uh, my name is Mohammed. Perfect. Thanks, Mohammed. What's the best phone number to reach you? And I'm... could I also get your email address? Yes, my email address is ambient081 at gmail.com. My phone number is 263-310-9010. Thanks, Mohammed. Just a few more quick questions so we can make sure George's team gives you the best advice. Are you looking to buy a home, refinance, or invest in a property? Actually, I'm looking to buy a home. Great, thanks. Where is the property you're interested in located? Mm, it's located in the West Island area. Thanks, Mohammed. What's the approximate value of the home you're looking at or your target price range? And do you have an idea of how much you'd like to put down as a down payment? I would like to put down uh, the 50% and the uh, the value is would be um, 500000 Awesome, thanks. Just a couple more quick things. Do you know your credit score range, even just roughly? And are you currently working with a real estate agent? Yes, I'm currently working with a real estate agent and the credit score is 720. Perfect. Thanks for sharing that. Last question. How soon are you hoping to move forward? Is it ASAP in a few weeks or in a few months? Uh, in a few months. Thank you. That's all I needed for now. I've sent your details to George's team. They'll review your info and reach out to you very soon. Sure. Thanks. No problem, Mohammed. Before we finish up just checking, would you like to go ahead and book that quick consultation call now to save your spot? Sure. Let me check availability for you real quick. Do you have any preferred day or time for the consultation? Uh, yeah, could you have an availability on uh, next Tuesday at 2 p.m.? Your appointment is successfully booked, Mohammed. You'll get a confirmation email shortly. If you need anything else, just let me know. Uh, that would be it. I would, uh, that's it, I guess. All set, Mohammed. Your appointment is booked and you'll get a confirmation email soon. Thanks for your time. Have a great day. All right, bye. Thanks. Your appointment is all set and you'll get a call. As you guys just saw, uh, it sent me uh, an email booked for the next Tuesday, July 15, 2 p.m. with a 30 minute time window. And uh, if you go into booking here, you saw the booking as well on Tuesday, 15 July, 2 p.m. And then uh, on the other hand, in NA10, it processes uh, the application and the workflow and uh, it gives you a result. Let me show you the Google Sheet first and then we will see. Uh, it logs all the results, the phone, uh, name, email, mortgage, type, location, value, down payment, credit score. Qualification reserve is qualified because the credit score is over 20 and the down payment I'm putting is a 50 50% 50 percent, I said 15 but it's 250 but it's okay. That was just a, a demo. And uh, then it also sent me an email uh, for this lead as well. Mm. Oops, it's here. It's uh, via here. And you can see the lead here as well. Perfect. So first of all, you have to go to Retail AI and sign up. Create a new voice agent. I'm calling mine George Mortgage Assistant. This one is specifically built for mortgage broker here in Quebec. Then you have to define your knowledge base. 
Redem can use your website as its brain. So paste your mortgage broker website link into the knowledge source section. This helps the AI answer common questions like what services you offer, where are you guys located, what's your process, in many more, whatever's been available into that website, AI will take the information and will use this info during live calls. Next, we define the questions like AI should ask during the call. These are the dynamic variables that you will collect, like full name, phone, email, if either you're buying, refinancing, or investing, the desired location of the property, the property value, the down payment and the credit score or are you working with a real estate agent or not and then the timeline well here you can also add a logic to ask different follow-up questions based on the answers let's say if the caller is qualified and want to book an appointment we add a booking command you can integrate this with cal.com or use a custom link just like we did it before with ai dental receptionist now here's the magic part we add a custom function that triggers when the conversation ends this function sends all the collected data to NADN using a webhook. Just paste your NADN webhook URL here. We will set that up next. Now go to NADN, add a webhook node. Set it to post and copy this webhook URL and paste it to your retail function. When the call ends, retail will send all the collected lead info here. Next, we connect the webhook to an AI agent node. This AI's agent job is to analyze the lead and decide if they are likely to qualify for a mortgage based on the credit score, down payment, and the value of the property. In the system prompt, I tell the AI you are a Canadian mortgage assistant. If the credit score is over 620 and down payment is least 5%, say qualified, otherwise not qualified. And handle back phrases like around 700 or 15 to 20%. And in the user prompt, pass in all the lead data using variables like name, credit score, whatever you have from the input coming from the webhook. Now after that, add an if node that checks the AI response. Set it to check if the results start with qualified. This will let us route qualified leads and non-qualified leads. For the qualified leads, for the qualified leads, we directly into the Google Sheets and send it to the Gmail, like email. And for the non-qualified, we just log into the Google Sheets for future review. Well, under the true branch of the if node, add a Gmail node. This will send an email to George with a lead summary. Use HTML in the body for the clean layout if you want, or otherwise just a text. Include name, phone, property value, credit score, and the AI's results. And before that, we also added a Google Sheet node to lock all the leads. Create a column like name, email, phone, location, credit score, down payment, qualification results. And then this will give you a full history and lets you track trends. On the if node, false plan, that's optional. You can save the lead into a separate tab or spreadsheet for featured measuring. And that's it. You have now built a fully automated AI voice assistant for mortgage deep using retail, cal, and NA10. Imagine how much time this saves. No more missed calls, unqualified leads, or manual follow-ups. If you found this helpful, give this video a like, subscribe for more AI bus automation tutorials, drop a comment if you want the full NA10 workflow or help with your setup. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.